Hi, it's Vanessa at Fitness 23 Texas. It's been a long time, but we're getting to get back to the Hegelin's deformity videos. So those of you who follow me in my running world, you know I have Hegelin's deformity, which is that bump in the back of your heel. So this pertains to people with that bump or with Achilles tendon issues. When we run a lot, of course, we're always using our Achilles tendon going up and down. So I'm gonna talk about some new things happening in the shoe world and what you can do to alleviate the pain. So, fantastic, Reebok is actually making real running shoes. Honestly, as you know, I've been running in Nike, but it's actually got a little too tight lately. And as I've upped my miles, I'm starting to marathon train again. Honestly, they were hurting. So I did that thing that we all love to do is go into the shoe store. Now, I moved from California to Texas, which is gonna be a problem in a minute, I'll talk about. So Reebok has come out with these new very soft in the back, so they don't hurt our heels, they don't hurt our Achilles, and they still have a 10 millimeter drop, which is very important to me. If I don't have that 10 millimeter drop, then my Achilles hurts way too much, and I'll talk about another brand that doesn't work as well. The situation with this shoe though is, if you pronate or supinate a lot, it's not gonna hold you in. The shoe has not that hard plastic on the side that you see more in a Brooks, that you see more in a Saucony or a New Balance even. But it is soft, so it won't hurt your Hegelin's deformity. Now, it's all about the insole too. As you know, we take those insoles out and we throw them away that come with the shoe. I found an amazing one called Easy Feet, and Easy Feet is literally like $20. I'm shocked at how cheap these are and how good they are. They have a hard piece of plastic in the middle here and soft right where the heel is. So I have to tell you that after one day, it molded to my feet and I love these. I'm, and I'm really in shock about it because I've never had an insole this inexpensive work so well and I got it off of Amazon. No one's paying me a penny, it's amazing and have great arch support. Any of us who have Achilles tendon issues or Hegelin's deformity, it's all about that arch support. So the arch works as your bounce, right? It's like a spring. So if you get a good insole, it's gonna help your feet tremendously. And I'm always fighting feet pain. So I actually have um, run in a pair of these now for a week and I'm thrilled. So we're gonna talk about another shoe that's come out and Puma is now making real running shoes. This is the one with the carbon plate in it and it's the cheapest carbon plated running shoe out there at $160. Oh, back to those Reeboks, they're 100 bucks, 120. It's amazing. I'll give you the exact brand and stuff in the, in the notes below so you'll know exactly what model I'm talking about. So the Puma carbon plated one, the problem for me is, as comfortable as this is, lots of room in the toe box, it doesn't have the 10 millimeter drop. It's too flat for me. If you can take a flat shoe though, it's also incredibly soft in the back. It's not gonna hurt your heel, not gonna hurt your Achilles, and it's a little bit more side support than um, the Reebok does, but not a lot. So let's go back to me moving from California where I would go to Fleet Feet and get custom made insoles to being in Texas where I can no longer get them. Now Fleet Feet does something where they allow you to go on the machine and they'll do the measurements, but they're never as good as they're molded to you in the store. That's why I found the Easy Feet ones that worked really well. Okay, let's talk about some other things that I tried that don't work as well, may I work for you and what the difference is. Another one that you can find online, Physio Gear Sport, to me, it would just felt like a tough piece of cardboard. It's okay, but it didn't seem to do what I needed to do, which was give me that security in my heel and get me more on my arch into the front of my foot. But it did give me a little more cushion. It's actually made for a little wider foot than mine, so it may work better for men. It's about $27. The most popular brand you will see that you can order online is Superfeet. Now, I would use these when I play tennis, but they don't work for running for me because there's no arch support. So as great as the heel cup is, a little more structure in your heel, a little more cushion in your heel, without the arch support, I can't run in them. They don't work for me. 
And then of course we talk about the custom ones if you're in California and you can go to Fleet Feet to get these done. So these are the Fleet Feet ones, they're custom done to your feet. I actually used to have a company out of Italy that would custom do them too. So there are custom ones to do. If you can do that, that's better. That's about $70, $75 now. The super feet, I don't think they work for runners as well. I do have some clients that use them. They're about 60. These are about 27. Felt like a stiff piece of cardboard, but literally these ones at $20, they were easy feet. I love them. I walk about 20,000 steps besides what I run in the morning. So my feet, I'm always on them. I gotta find something that works. So back to the original shoes thing we're gonna talk about again. The Reeboks, I'm gonna give you a couple of brands. They're fantastic. They fit true to size. I think it's a really great new option and they really have a great new sole that works really well. The Puma, I like it. It's just that I can't take a flatter shoe. So that's what we're gonna do the differences and let's try them out, see what it is. I know with your Heglins and with your Achilles tendon issues, you can run without pain too. I've been ramping up. I'm almost at 35 miles this week. I should be at 45 next week and I'm doing it without pain. See you on the roads.